Welcome back for this last video about the maintenance of the Star Adventure. We already saw how to maintain and tune the wedge, how to disassemble and regrease the Star Adventurer, how the clutch works, and now it's time to discuss the last type of adjustment you are likely to have to do on your Star Adventure, and this is to adjust the backlash, to remove the backlash between the ring gear and the worm gear. Now this backlash is what reduce uh, the tracking precision of your mount. Now, if you want to see if you have this type of backslash, what you do is grab your Star Adventurer with one hand, engage the clutch, and then grab the mounting platform to the other hand, and try to move it back and forth. If you feel play, then you have backslash between the worm gear and the ring gear. So, how does it look the play? Well, listen carefully. You may even see it in the video. That is because I purposely introduced this uh, huge backlash by um, unscrewing the one gear meshing adjustment screw. So this is the little screw you find at the base of the Star Adventurer. And you want to use an hexagonal key, hex key number three, in order to tie this screw up. Now, what this screw does is to push the one gear assembly that is down there into the ring gear that is part of the clutch assembly. So, by doing that, you are removing the play between the teeth. We can illustrate the concept with these two wooden gear. If, say, this is the uh, ring gear, this is the one gear, and you put them close, but not very much one into the other, then you see that you may have some play between the teeth. Now the meshing adjustment, what does the meshing adjustment is to push the one gear into the ring gear and so reducing this amount of backslash. Now if you overdo with the adjustment, then you may have problem due to uh, eccentricity and imprecision in the manufacturing of the gear and so you can create some extra friction in some po points where basically your motor will stall. So you don't want to do that, you want to try to adjust this meshing just right. So you want to just remove this playing and to do so start to screw in the adjustment, the worm gear meshing adjustment screw. So you and you check at the same time the play the play is gone, you can see there is no play, there is no noise. So the next things we do is to check we have not a strong tight spot. So we release the clutch and we move the mounting platform by hand. It's normal that it may get a bit more noisy, but it should look smooth or at least as smooth as it was before the adjustment. You don't want to have something that some points that are very very stiff. Also, if uh, this check is good, you move to the next check, you engage the clutch and then you make the motor run at 12 times the sidereal speed and uh, check the progress with the uh, graduation circles. The motor has to run freely. If the motor stalls, these two buttons will start flashing and that means that it arrived to a point where the um, new new settings for the meshing um, create too much extra friction because of eccentricity or imprecision in the manufacturing of the gear and the motor is not power enough in order to overcome this extra friction so you need to reduce the meshing between these two gears um, if everything runs smooth then perfect you are done if you need to start over with the screw uh, with the meshing adjustment then all you need to do a bit more than just unscrewing the worm gear meshing adjustment screw that's because this the worm gear assembly is not mounted on springs so when you pull back the screw 
the mounting assembly will not back away from the uh, ring gear. Uh, you have to manually pull it back and you have to, two ways to do, that, to do that. Either you remove the mounting platform and the knob, the clutch knob, either you uh, unscrew the base of the startup vent. So let's see how to do the second way. So here there are four screws that you can screw with the hex key number three. So you put them out completely. So we want to detach the base from the body of the start ventral. You will not break any seal, so there is no problem with the warranty. Either way, you want to do in order to access the warm gear assembly. Now, when you do this way, be careful that there are some cables, some electrical connections, so you don't want to rip them off. So be careful when you remove the base from the body of the strut Okay, now the bolts are gone. And we are ready to free the base of the start venture from its body. Okay, so now that the bolts are out, we can free the base from the body of the start venture. And you can see here all the cables, so you don't want to rip them. You can see here the whole warm gear assembly with the gearbox this is the motor that's the wheel that counts the speed of the motor so the rpm of the motor and this is some chips and electronic contacts we don't mess with them you see here there is some grease uh, sometimes you, you you may want when you regrease the mount you may also want to clean uh, this gears and put some extra grease on them to make everything run smooth. Now the problem is here this mounting assembly is not spring loaded so when the screw that is there that is pushing on this side and is pushing down the warm gear assembly onto the ring gear when you release the, the pressure this part doesn't spring back so you have to do that manually and I want to show you the movement if I can so with the screw flat screwdriver there is completely out and here is completely in so if you look at the screw there with respect the housing of the star adventurer you can see the movement let's do it once again out check the movement of this gear there and in okay so we have now pulled back let's pull it back and now we can remount everything since I'm here let me just add a bit of grease on this warm gear So now we have pushed back the warm gear assembly and the clutch is still uh, engaged and you can see that I have developed the play once again, the backlash. So we take our hex key no number 3 and we rescrew the warm gear meshing screw adjustment or adjustment screw back in. Okay, so the play is now gone. Uh, I will undo the release the clutch, check that the rotation is smooth, and then engage the clutch once again, put some battery into the start venture, run it at 12 times the sidereal speed for a couple of hours so that the motor will do a full turn while the payload will make a full turn and uh, um, the grease I put on the gear will be distributed better and this will give me the opportunity to check if there is any issue with motor stall if you have motor stall then 
either there is something preventing the rotation of the payload you know, something external, a cable or whatever or either is something wrong in the assembly or you have simply adjust too much well, to, 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 to tight too much the worm gear meshing adjustment screw down there and so you need to do uh, the procedure where you open the Star Adventurer, you pull back the worm gear assembly and then you start over and uh, this is pretty much what I wanted to say once again I remind you if you have a tight spot during the free rotation of the payload do the meshing adjustment at that spot because you will develop a little bit of backlash on the part where the rotation is smooth but you will prevent the motor to stall once it will reach the tight spot so this concludes our series about maintenance of the Stradventurer I hope you have enjoyed this, uh, this videos and uh, let me know if it works for you.